Hey guys, let's dig into another top five video. And this is put together by me realizing which ones of these I pull out the most out of the truck. I'm in a lot of commercial maintenance, residential maintenance. We have a bunch of rental properties, um, as well as I take care of some hotels, restaurants, different things like that. So if you do a lot of that same type of stuff, then you may kind of have interests that align. But even if not, these are some tools that are some standouts from the brand that I really appreciate. So let's get into it. Now, starting from some of the most common stuff that you'll see me use from Vera, this ratcheting driver right here, this is the 825 1RA right there. This has a set of like six bits right here around the top. It is a ratchet. So you have a nice forward reverse center lockup on it too. And you can build this out with any bits you want. It has a magnetic tip right there. So you can go ahead and put any of the actual bit styles that you use in here. Put six in here, one in the tip, and have seven bits ready to go. It has a nice slim tip, which is a little different than some. Fits in a lot of nice spots where you need it to. So I've been using these for years. I've got a whole bunch of these things. So highly recommend them. They do have a good warranty as well on all their tools. I've, if, if you buy like from KC Tool, a lot of times they'll even handle the warranty for you. So that's a big part of why I deal with them quite a bit too. So number two, another screwdriver also ratcheting that came out. And I think this just came out in the last year. This is their little stubby. And I like this because it is a legitimate stubby. This thing is extremely small. So you can pop this open. And you'll have your six bits, and they're on like a rocker carousel here. You can pick the bit you want. Let's grab a number two Phillips. That's like what we use 90% of the time. Magnetizes right into the head. You'll notice there's nothing sticking out of this ratcheting area. So you have such a small driver. That is that is all there is to it. And now you have a ratchet just right there. It also has forward, reverse, and locks up in the middle. It's the same ratcheting mechanism from their bigger driver so great little pair to have there is another one of these they came out with it's significantly more expensive but it combines a little bit of the zyklop and has a double rail of driver bits so if you're here on the channel go look that one up i've covered it a couple times now it's called the wera 8009 and i'll go through what the benefits of it are it does not make my top five yet because i haven't run it long enough yet to know how that tool holds up I've been using these core tools for quite some time. So that's why we're here to talk about these today. So long before getting into PB Swiss, I've been using Wera Allen keys. And the Wera, these have the tip right there, the ball end. They're just fantastic. When you get into those spots and you can't get your Allen wrench straight into it, these will work even at an angle. So just a fantastic design. And I've had these long enough that I think now you can actually get them all in the same uh, type holder. When I got mine, I think this is, yeah, this is Imperial in the, in the textile case. And I have to have my metric in this little case. So it would have been nice to have all in one or all in the other. Because I do kind of prefer this textile case myself. Because it's nice, it's flat, and I keep it in my veto bags right down the side inside it. So... It's nice you don't have them hanging up on everything like you do in these but what can you do we've been using wear a long time those the the way these fit into bolt heads into all the different allen style things you have to deal with is just fantastic a lot of this comes down to if you don't want to have to worry about stripping things out use a quality allen key it's it's one of the things that if you're working on higher-end bath fixtures, all that kind of thing, it can save you a world of heartache. If you strip something out down in a hole and it's like a size two or two and a half or something annoying like that, you're going to have a very bad day getting that out. So with that in mind, that's why I have these and I've had, I've got two or three sets of these, but I've added PB Swiss now that runs in my wear -a bag for my really high-end work. And these have absolutely no problem. I've never had a problem with these. The PB Swiss is more just me liking nice tools. So 
Anyway, I'm still using these daily. They're fantastic. So highly recommend these. If you work on stainless stuff, though, be sure to buy stainless Allen keys. Otherwise, you can introduce rust into a stainless fastener. You don't want to be doing that. So anyway, number three, four. We're on number four already. I guess we have a little bonus over here. This is the Tool Check Plus. And this is actually a new one. I've got so many that are stripped for parts that I had to have a new one to make a few videos here lately, as well as to have a new one to actually restock my bag. But that's what that looks like. And they've actually changed the design on these. My old ones have a nice lock right here. And I don't know, I think they were built maybe a little better. They locked shut right there. Now all you do is tilt it. Your bits actually have this way of opening like that, so you can actually see all the bits you have. A big reason I highly recommend this one in the early stages of you getting started is it gives you a huge range of available pieces. All these bits from in here will work in the other two drivers that we talked about, as well as if you go with the quarter inch Zyklop, you'll have an entire rail of at least one size of socket. Whether you went Imperial or metric, it will give you that. So this does come with a really small, tight spaces type ratchet, but it is fully functional. You have a switch here for left, right. And what's neat is you can grab the top of this and actually drive something with it. So I'll end up up in a tight spot and I'm actually just rolling this wheel to use the drive on it. And you set your bits in there, they go through the head. So this thing does not get very long. Like that's all you have to work with there. So you can get up in a tight spot and then just be rolling it to get it out. So I end up using this set a lot in things like appliance work because you'll get in there and it's just, they were not built to work on at all. So having tools that allow you to get places that you weren't designed to be able to get is really important and it makes you money. So that is right there on the top of that set. The other end of the top there has their rapid, rapid adapter, rapid adapter, whatever you like to call it, slides out right there. And this is very, very nice. It's one of the, one of the best bit holders that I've really used from anywhere. That's it right there. You have that pulled forward. This fits, you know, in any kind of quarter inch drive tool, whether you have a little cordless screwdriver, your impacts, whatever, not impact rated on this one, but it will work in there. I run them in there quite a bit, but you can press this in, just push and it clicks just like that. And it has a detent in there that completely locks that bit in. So you don't end up reaching way back in, working on something. And then when you pull back, you leave your bit stuck in the screw back in there. Happens a lot more with Allen and Torque sizes, hex, all that kind of stuff. They'll stick sometimes, especially if you have dirty fasteners or something in there. Then you just pull that collar forward to release and it's, it's a fantastic, simple little design. Another feature of this that I don't think I really thought about initially is that all of the all of the Torx bits through here, you see the hole right in the top of them. They're all security Torx. So it's just an added benefit that you have security Torx bits in here. You see these a lot on like commercial bathrooms and stuff where the public is around it. It just keeps people that just may have a random screwdriver, I guess, from just disassembling things. So, you know, the public is something sometimes. So anyway, Really handy to have in here though, because you get in a in a place and it's got the little pin in the middle of the of the Allen or the Torx. You know, it's really, really annoying if you have to run to the store and get one. So this gives you a fantastic starter set of a lot of neat things. It does have a driver here on the end. You just flip that up and you have this little miniature driver handle. So for perspective, this is nowhere near a normal Wera style or size handle. It is the right style, but very, very small. So really handy if you need to get into a tight spot or something. It is magnetic, holds all normal quarter inch bits. So you can stick whatever you need to in there. Closes up nice. But that little kit right there, they even have a bag for it now. I've got it in my big Vera bag and I keep it in, the, in that now because it just keeps all my pieces together a little bit better. So if you're just getting started, starting with one of these, one of their ratcheting drivers, and a Zyklop.
you can go a long ways with just that little handful of tools. And obviously, whether you need a stubby or a long one or what size Zyklop and everything, up to you. So last of all, and I kind of an honorable mention here, is the Zyklop. And really, first off, if you're buying the tool check and you're buying a ratcheting driver, get a quarter inch Zyklop. Maybe even get the quarter inch Zyklop set that has all the extensions and universal joints and all that kind of stuff in it because it gives you a lot of more options that aren't coming with these. So you can end up putting together a very nice little kit to work with. This is the 3 8 drive version and I've just got it handy. It's a little bigger and is identical to the quarter inch to show you guys some of the features. But this locks up at, you know, perfectly just like a normal ratchet to the side there. And of course, ratcheting, and you just rotate this green knob on the top to change directions. You press the knob on the top right in the center, and you can see the detent pop out the end. And that is how you would eject your, your socket that you'd have on here. Just push your button, and then everything will pop off. So, really nice little design there. If you pull this back, though, this little green tab right here, now you can rotate the head, and it will go all the way to straight on. And that has the ability that if you went with the quarter inch version, you can grab your quarter inch sockets off of your tool check and you have a full set of either metric or imperial, depending on what you've got, of nut drivers. So if you need to spin something down really fast, you'll have a basically a ratcheting nut driver, which is probably one of the number one ways that I actually use this. A lot of times I'll spin it down first as they also have this little black collar right here that allows you to just hold it and spin it right in your hand. When it's loose, you can run it right down like that and then switch to the ratchet at the end. So with all that combined, you just have so many neat features as well as of course this head locks at a slight, at a slight angle as well. So for me, I'll usually run something down fast like that, ratchet it down when it gets tight. Depending on how much space I have, I'll then bring this over into normal ratchet and tighten it on down to finish. So this thing, just a fantastic driver. I've got probably five or six of the quarter inch sizes. You keep getting sets and they show up, you know. And then I've got a couple three eighths and some half and a half inch also. So if you keep an eye out for these, like on KC Tool of the Day, I'll have all this stuff linked down below in the description for you too. It's available on KC Tool, but I'll also have some Amazon links for whatever I can find there. Sometimes it's hard with some of these, some of these specialized tools. But if you watch KC Tool on Tool of the Day, sometimes they will do an absolute fantastic deal. 50% off or more sometimes. They just had the full half-inch drive Zyklop set, the really nice set on sale for, I, I think, like $300 off yesterday. So there's always something neat popping up. You have one day to grab it. So I, I get a lot of my stuff from there. I don't, I've never gotten a single wear a tool for free. I have no affiliation with that company. You'd think at this point they'd notice, but they haven't. So I've bought all of this stuff, but I'm very careful how I do it. I try to find sales, deals, tool of the day, whatever I can do. Notice on Amazon, sometimes things will suddenly dive down cheap. I use my Amazon card to get the extra 5% off, all that kind of stuff. I do everything I can to get these tools as reasonably as I possibly can. Because, yeah, I'm doing construction work, too. I don't just blow it on this stuff. So, I love tools, though, and with it being a hobby and doing this, I'm into it even more than I used to be. So, honorable mention here would be this textile rail from Vera. They make them for all the different size sockets. Has a little carabiner here on the top. Of course, the soft side of Velcro here on the back. So, you can stick these in your, in your Vera bags or really anywhere you have a piece of Velcro. You can buy Velcro in a roll at Lowe's or Walmart or whatever, and just stick that on your toolboxes or whatever, and then just like that, your wear of stuff will stick on. So just kind of a, the more you know. But this one, all you have to do is just twist the socket slightly and they come right off the rail. So they have a positive lock back onto it. You don't have to worry about your sockets rolling around in your bag they'll stay on this rail, even if they get banged against something. So just a super nice design. Thank you guys for checking out what I consider to be my top five.
Is there one I missed that maybe is in your top five? I'm really curious. I'm pretty deeply into both Vera, Knipex, PB Swiss. They're all kind of my top brands that I use. But these five tools, maybe six here, are kind of ones that I grab almost on an everyday basis, probably several times a day with what I do. So hopefully you guys got something out of this. If you did, hit that subscribe and like button down there because you know you want to hang out for more tool reviews. We'll see you guys on the next one.